Welcome back to the Northern Kentucky Norse. Last week was a massive week for recruiting. We had a lot of different players that were visiting the school and we also got the big win against Charlotte. So we're gonna see if that's enough to get us back into the top 25. After that, we're gonna take on Middle Tennessee State this week and we're hopefully gonna improve to six and one. But it's time to find out what last week did for our program. We did land a few commits in Mark Davis, the right tackle, David Harrison, the right guard, and lastly, the middle linebacker 68 overall, Anton Cooper. We also did have an NCAA player of the week. I'm guessing that's Mason Bean, but we're not back into the top 25 yet. It looks like we're sitting at 26 right now. And yes, I was right. Mason Bean won player of the week last week with his amazing performance. However, it wasn't enough to get him back into the Heisman watch, but Andrew Luck has a coaching upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead, put it on kitchen sink. And it just hit me why our team's been playing so much better this season. We hired a new defensive coordinator and a new offensive coordinator. They had a lot more skill points to put onto their stats. For example, our defensive players are getting plus four zone coverage. And then our offensive players are getting boosted as well. So I'm assuming that's why our 68 overall team is playing so well this year. But we're going to go ahead and schedule Troy Brown to a visit this week. He's pretty much Derrick Henry. 6'5", 234, with 88 speed and 93 acceleration. We need to pass for over 250 yards and win our game today to get all the boosts. And besides that visit news and still being behind on Terrence Jackson, we don't have any other recruiting updates. Which means it's time to hop into our game against Middle Tennessee State. And they're sitting above us in the conference standings right now, so this could be a huge win for us. Our program is also on a six-game home win streak. And I would hate to lose that today against Middle Tennessee State, but they are the highest overall team in Conference USA, so they could give us a lot of problems. Nippert Stadium is packed again today. We've been having amazing crowds recently. Our fans definitely showed out for today's game. So let's start it off right with Jamari Brown on the kick return, see what he can do. Come on, buddy, keep going. He won the best returner in the nation last year for a reason. Mason Bean on the read option is starting us off right. And here on second and two, I'm just gonna roll out and throw a dot to Tony Hines, the freshman. He had a massive drop issue last week, but this week he is starting off right and he's making our offense look elite. What a great blitz right there. I didn't see it coming. I couldn't get the throw off in time, but that's putting us in a tough third and 16. I'm gonna throw it to Tony Hines and he's making a catch. The freshman is off to an amazing start and Mason Bean's getting into the end zone right here. That is the exact start we needed. On first and 10, they're going with the run and they're starting off right. Hargrove can't bring him down. Trayvon Faulkner can't bring him down. I just missed again. Okay, not the best start right there, but we're getting in on defense. No, Nick Young couldn't bring him down. Somehow Asher O'Hara got a positive gain there. Here on third and five, we are gonna need a huge stop. They went with the halfback draw and Devin Dixon cannot make the tackle. Our defense is not off to a great start. They went with another halfback draw, but this time Jeff Welsh made a huge play. On second and 12, it looks like they're running and Ryan Clayton's gonna make a tackle. That's a big loss for them. Third and 16, halfback screen. We are locking that up all day. Our defense ended up coming up pretty big right there and their kick short. This is the exact start we need. They're pressing Tony Hines. I am so tempted to throw this ball. And is that a dot from Mason Bean? It is. Oh my gosh, we are starting off right. If we can somehow finish this game out, this will definitely put us back in the top 25. But there's way too much time left in the game for us to get excited. What a run by the running back here. It looks like Mobley's gonna have a pretty big game against us today. And now we have a big third and six where we need to stop. That's good defense. There we go. Something about this team, man. When they want to come out and play well, they do. But they have got to stop playing down to their competition. Oh my gosh, is that another dot? What a bad throw by Mason Bean. Actually, it wasn't even that bad of a throw. Just a great play by the DB. But Mason Bean is going with the read option. And he puts us in a third and one where we're going to try this play out. How's it working? It's not. That is why I don't go with wide receiver screens. They barely work. All right, first and 10. Good defense. We're stopping you, Asher O'Hara. We legitimately have Middle Tennessee State in a box right now. Third and seven right here. Let's get a stop. I'm watching that underneath route and good defense. I am loving how the team has come out so far and played this well on first and 10. We're just gonna hit Nick Ojanovic, but of course he couldn't hold on to it. So now on second and 10, we're gonna throw it to him again and he drops it again. I cannot be dealing with drops like this. That's a dot to Robert Burns, but we're still getting held to another three and out. I'm glad we got into the end zone early in the game because right now nobody can do anything. Asher O'Hare is taken off and it seems like our pass defense is really confusing him. And now on third and four, what are they doing? Nothing's open. This is a box. That's a box. Travis Silva with the pick. 
That is such great defense right there. And our team just plays so much better at home. I'm not sure what it is, but Ooh. I love how they're playing. Big third and one right here. Robert Burns on the counter is going to definitely pick that up. And honestly, we have full control of this game right here. Mason Bean throwing a dot. I just love how good this team plays at home. Robert Burns with the run. And we're looking to get a three possession lead before the ending of this first half. Hopefully we can do so. Oh my gosh, that might be a box. Click on with Tony Hines. He gets into the end zone. I could not tell you why number four didn't make a play on that right there, but I will definitely take that touchdown. Hopefully our defense can continue to dominate in the second half right here. Yes, we will. Come on. Austin Hargrove continues to dominate for us. Here on second and 11, that's a bad user, but it puts them in a third and one situation where they're just gonna run for the first down. Here on first and 10, they're just running the ball again, and this time it's working out. Trayvon Faulkner, bring him down. Our defense is gonna need to play better. They can't continue to run all over us. It's pretty clear though, if we can stop the run, we can stop their whole offense. I just can't believe these guys have moved the ball all the way down the field without passing until this play, and then we lock them up. Come on. They literally have run for like all of their yards here. Okay, hit him in the flat. We can stop that. Third and two. I like our defense. No. I just want to say their QBs passed for 18 total yards, and it is the third quarter, and it's not like we're playing Army or someone. They are pressing Tony Hines again. They saw how this went earlier in the game, so I'm tempted to throw it again, and that was almost a pick. He might be fast, but he does not have the best release. All right, make the pitch, Adrian Nelson. Ooh. Come on. Oh my gosh. What was that play? I have never seen anything like that. I really hope we're not choking this game right here now. No way he's breaking that tackle. Come on, Trayvon. And of course, they're getting into the end zone. All of a sudden, we're only up seven. This isn't looking too good for us. We need a good offensive drive here. And we're gonna have a good one by delivering a dot to Bryce Oliver. Thank goodness he's starting to get involved. Let's go with the counter here to Robert Burns. He's getting nowhere. Here on second and 10. It looks like a cover too, but it's a good one. They get the sack. And I was honestly only looking at Tony Hines to see if he could get open. Right here, we're going to throw the curl to him. And now we have to punt the ball back to Middle Tennessee State. First and 10. They're just running the ball, of course. I missed the tackle. And I'm assuming another run's coming. They actually passed it this play. But we put him in a box. Which means here on third down, we just need to stop. We're giving up the underneath routes. Somehow that's open. And all of a sudden, this is not an easy win for us. What a slant route. Come on. We've got to stop him. I don't know how we choked this game. We were playing so well. Halfback screen. We almost got the pick, but instead they're picking up five yards. We are really about to choke this game away. Come on. Good play, Devin Dixon. All right. Third and seven. That route's guarded. Don't throw it. Make the QB run. Pick it. Trayvon Faulkner with the pick. Come on. I am telling you all, their QB is absolutely horrible. He's literally like an 88 overall, but he hasn't been able to do a thing against us today. And oh my gosh, there we go. That's a dot to Adrian Nelson. This has been such a weird game right here. Now we're running with Mason Bean. Pitch it to Adrian Nelson again. Come on, break the tackles. All right, Adrian Nelson, open up the seam. This is the Adrian Nelson drive. Will he make it all the way into the end zone? What a turnaround for the Norse. This was such a weird game for us, but I think we're going to pull out the win. Though I wouldn't be too sure about anything yet. We already blew the lead earlier in the game. We got to come out and stop them here. Come on. First and 10. No way. That's a dot. We just have to let them burn out clock. They're trying to scramble. That isn't going to work. Asher O'Hara is making our defense look elite right now. He can't do anything against us. And that was almost another pick. I'm telling you all, we made some good offseason hires. Our new offensive and defensive coordinator was amazing. Come on, pick that. They dropped it. Wait, did he catch that? No way he caught that. It said fourth and inches. Wow, what a play. As Travis Silva is celebrating that they got the stop on defense. This is by far the weirdest game of NCAA football 14 I've ever played. But on fourth and inches, can we get the stop? Oh, nice read. Now they're in hurry up mode. They have to somehow get into the end zone here. We're stopping Asher O'Hara. For being an 88 overall quarterback, he has not been the best. That's a dot right there. Alley's breaking tackles. But our defense does need to clutch up here. We do need to stop. Somehow he's wide open. Oh my gosh, they just switched to the onside's kick. How do I do something? I don't know what to do. This is such a weird game. I've never seen that before. Liam Demko picks up the ball though. I've played this game for so many years, but I've still never seen that animation. Robert Burns to the outside. We're gonna hopefully be able to run out the clock here. Robert Burns, what a move. Come on, spin move. We just need one first down to end this game right here. Come on, let's go Mason Bean. Get there, go. That's a first down, that's game.
And there we go. The clock is run out. We got the win. We improved to six and one, and we couldn't have done it without all of these amazing performances. Mason Bean with 270 passing yards and three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Tony Hines, seven receptions, 137 yards with two touchdowns. And then Adrian Nelson with his 91 receiving yards and a touchdown. Defensively, Jeff Welsh with his four tackles for loss and two sacks. And Travis Silver and Trayvon Faulkner both getting the interception. All those players contributed to this amazing win today, which makes me excited to tell you all that we are now bowl eligible. Next week, we play on the road at Florida Atlanta we do not play well on the road but we'll also find out if troy brown committed to the team and if we're back into the top 25 i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i will see you all in the next one